Aquaporins were first discovered by a team of researchers led by Peter Ager at Johns Hopkins University in the early 90s. Peter's team was studying membrane proteins in red blood cells. In the process of their research, they identified a protein that they thought was a water channel. To test this hypothesis, they inserted the protein into the cell membrane of frog eggs and then dropped the eggs into water. As water entered the egg cells through the water channels, the modified eggs swelled up and burst open, confirming their hypothesis. Aquaporins are integral membrane proteins that allow water molecules to passively move from one side of the membrane to the other. In this animation, a red aquaporin subunit is seen spanning a pink membrane. The blue and white represent the oxygen and two hydrogens in water, the yellow is chloride, and the purple is potassium. Watch how only water is able to pass through the aquaporin and down its concentration gradient. Now let's take a closer look at the structure of the aquaporin that gives rise to its unique function. Each aquaporin subunit is formed by six alpha helices bundled together. The inside of a channel is lined with negatively charged residues that allow for hydrogen bonding between the water molecule and the protein until the molecule reaches the center of the protein where it is flipped by the positive charge around two asparagines. This change in orientation allows only water molecules to fit through the aquaporin, making it a highly specific channel. In this animation, the white negative signs represent the negatively charged lining of an aquaporin channel and the purple plus sign represents the positively charged field around the two asparagines in the middle of the channel.